Coach, what are your thoughts on the Big 12s going to 20 conference games and how much, if any, impact did it have on you for non-conference scheduling this year? Well, it impacts everybody, you know, but that's the way of the future. You know, you don't have 16 teams and play 18 games. <laughs> Can't do that, you know, it's, because it's a, um, no matter what you do, you're going to have an unbalanced schedule. Um, I remember when I was in the Big 12 from 94 to 06, you had a north and south. The South teams played everybody in the South twice. So we played Texas Tech, Texas A&M, Texas, Oklahoma State. Might be missing somebody. Uh, no, it was six. So we played five teams. We played five teams twice. That's 10 games. And we played everybody in the North once. That was six games. So you had 16 game schedule. You know, where the imbalance came was which, which, which uh, division was the strongest. You know, some years it was the South because you had Oklahoma in the top 15, Oklahoma State top 15, Texas top 15, and uh, a lot of years Texas Tech would be. And some teams in the North, they, they, they weren't at the level of those teams in the South. Then sometimes you, in the North, you've got Kansas, who was always the face of the league. I mean, Kansas always. I mean, that's – and they still are. I mean, this, Kansas is the bell cow in this uh, conference. Don't get it twisted. Um, um, but Missouri with Norm Stewart and, uh, Quinn, um, uh, uh, the year we went to the final four, that's who we beat in the elite eight to go to the final four that year was Missouri. Uh, they had just beat UCLA and we had just beaten Arizona. Um, but Ricardo Pat had some outstanding teams at, uh, Colorado, Tim Floyd and Larry Eustace were loaded at Iowa state. Uh, Kansas State's always had a great, great uh, tradition and great fans there. So um, it was tough, but there was only 12 of us. That's why they call it the Big 12, right? There was 12 of us. Uh, and now and now I look around, um, um, I have to be reminded sometimes what league Missouri's in, you know. The other day I made a mistake and said they were in the Big Ten, but they're in the SEC. But uh, I, I remember how great that Missouri program was. And and now we've, uh, you know, I was in the league with Arizona and Arizona State when I was in the uh, Pac-12. Um, played Arizona, Arizona State seven times. Went to, went to Tucson, went to Phoenix, Tempe. Um, so now we have, uh, how many teams are in the Big 12 now? 16, right? Yeah. So still going to be an unbalanced schedule. Somebody's somebody's going to get assigned a, a harder schedule than somebody else. But that's the you, there's nothing to complain about because it it, it, it will never be fair because it can't be. But um, where it affects the non-conference, Chris, is it takes your ability to to grow your team. Those non-conference games are important. There's a reason why we scheduled the way we scheduled, um, you know, and we've got some uh, really tough non-conference games uh, this year. We're playing a tournament in Las Vegas, and then then we have a another contract for a really tough game um, uh, at, a, on a, at a neutral site. So 20, 23, um, 24, then we've got the big, big East, big 12 challenge, right? That's 25. So we have 25 of uh, the, the allowable 31 that will be against um, power five, well, power four uh, teams. Um, but um, you can't worry about that anymore. You know, everything's changed. When, you know, I've been doing my own schedule for a long time. Um, but you can't do it the way you used to. You just that's the thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna succeed at this level, in, in this environment, in today's world, you better be, you better be. Not only had you understand how to adapt, but you got to do it today. You can't slowly adapt. 
I mean, you got to turn the page and say, let's go. It's it's here's what's happening. Now let's let's change with the times and uh, don't complain about it. Just figure it out and go do it.